Welcome, everybody, to the playoffs of the Hello World Valorant Open Season 1. Uh, as always, I am joined by Zach Cole on my right. Um, he'll be casting with me today for the uh, up to three games that we may be having. Um, so, I the starting soon uh, slide was a little bit different this time, but um, for the schedule today, it's been a little bit swapped around. Um, essentially, what happened over the week is uh, Tomi Hates Me and Elo Assassins both unfortunately had to drop because of scheduling concerns. Um, because originally this tournament was only planned to run for one weekend. Uh, what happened is we ended up getting a couple of extra teams in last minute and we had to run it over two weekends. And unfortunately, teams were just not able to make it. And so we are here today instead with Onichan and Mandatory Fun. Uh, but Mandatory Fun is also having some troubles uh, getting their team together. So we will... Uh, be going on break after this little intro to try to give them a little bit of extra time to get their people in but um today we'll be doing just a best of three between the two of them sort of an impromptu finals um to the hello world valorant open um as it is though uh your champions will technically be these guys uh one of these two whoever wins um but when it comes to uh standings i believe tomi hates me would still be taking the win but i'm not sure we'll have to check on that later um Otherwise, uh, because this is the last day of Season 1, we are in the process of, you know, thinking about Season 2, getting uh, more teams going, uh, and all of that kind of stuff. So, if you'd like to participate in Season 2, uh, please feel free to join the Discord server that's linked down below in our, um, whatchamacallit, in our Twitch bio. Um, go ahead and click on the Discord server, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on all of our social medias. Uh, we'll be uh, posting updates to Season 2, which may happen this summer if not it'll be probably later in the year uh we're thinking probably november december uh something like that sort of a uh christmas themed uh event we'll see um and yeah uh vods for this uh were upload or vods for last weekend were uploaded yesterday as well on our hello world uh youtube channel so if you want check that out it's also in our twitch bio got a lot of cool stuff going on there um with that, yeah, it looks like Mandatory Fun is still having some trouble getting people around, so I'm just I'm just kind of stalling for time right now. Um, I don't want to send chat onto a five minute break just yet. Um, yeah, how how are all thirteen of you in chat today? Uh, yeah, these guys are these guys still have two people. Uh oh. <laughs> Great, that's good. That's good. Well, this is a tragedy. Oh, that's so sad. We get some fillers. Get some Pepe hands in the chat. That is sad. I think this is the right way. Huh? Oh uh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's an it's an F. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should mirror I your camera tell. right now just to screw you over. It's okay, I have the other F as well. I see. Man is ready for everything. Yeah. Can I well. sub? Absolutely. If you wanna if you wanna hop on in, you can sub for mandatory final. Because I mean at this point, like this this finals is very scuffed. It might as it, it might as well just be, you know, uh Yeah. Hop on in here and sub. Might as well. I don't have monies, it's fine. The, the 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 tournament is free. You're okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, the legendary D Kim says I'll join. <laughs> the Daniel Kim? The Daniel Kim. The legendary uh what was, what did he pick at? Plat? I thought I thought he got immortal like once. Immortal. MNF Mean Yolk, possibilities, possibilities. Shoebox, yes, open Valorant. Nah, he peaked hey. at Silver One. Dude, that's higher than me. Wait, is Shoebox in this server? Uh, let me check. Hey, uh, yo, uh, Sunny, Shoebox, scroll down to the About Us panel and click on the, the thingy. Click on the Discord panel and join the server so I can give you the rules.
yeah, a little bit scuffed. It's fine. This is this is getting more casual. Um, first weekend was more of our uh, official stream, and if if we try to find sponsors for season two, I'll just show them uh, the st the vods from last weekend. This weekend is a little bit uh, scuffed, and my camera died again. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. So what you need to do is you need to get sponsored by Logitech because anything sponsored by Logitech just gives them a huge ego. Like look at all the esports orgs like TSM and G two. Huh? Get that logic if you get that Logitech Shoot. sponsorship. Uh, that, that, that that Logitech sponsorship, then it's like it's just an amazing ego. True, true. But I don't know if Logitech plans on sponsoring us. You know, I, I feel like that would kind of be. Uh, D Kim. All right, we we give D Kim the role. Just tell them we need more ego. Oh Let's God! Let's say you get a Logitech sponsorship. Just type better. Well, the stream is not dropping that many frames this time, uh, so we are looking good on that front as well. We still need one more sub for mandatory fun, then we can make the series happen. We are so close. I, I invited Minyok. Uh... Oh yeah, I need mm. to invite him. Okay, he's already been invited. Never mind. Might just have to run a 4v5. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we might, we may have to do that, but it's okay. Uh, well, that's actually not that okay, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, I, I said something funny in their chat. Hmm? I said something funny in their chat. They're streaming? The mandatory fun, uh, oh. channel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait. Where is Shoebox? Shoebox isn't joined. Uh, hold on. I mean, copy ID. Did you know you can ping voice channels in uh, Discord? Yes. A lot I'm of just, people don't um, know that. It is quite useful, actually. I'm a big brain gamer. That's how I know. Yeah. You need dev mode on though. Hmm? Actually, do you need dev mode on? I think you do need I, dev I, mode on. I have dev mode I on. I know you have dev mode on, but not everyone does. Yeah, I'm just a big brain coder man. True. <sighs> What's it? Uh. Well, now I can complain about not getting the mage punk knife in my shop on my main, but I got it on my alt. <laughs> As the only thing I will spend more money, like I'll give more money to Riot just for that. <laughs> but like, I feel like, but, but if you buy the knife on your alt, though, like, what's the point, right? Exactly. That's why I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. I'm still waiting for the uh, Karambit, dude. We got the last one. Oh. Yo. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yo. Okay. All right. Well, with that chat, we're gonna set up the match now. We got a we got a little bit of work to do. Uh, we're gonna send you guys off onto a five minute break, and we will be back finally with the final series of the Hellworld Valorant Open um, uh, after the break. So we will see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, and we're back. Still waiting on one last person. Uh, we have we, we do have all five subs, but we're just waiting on the last one to exist because they need to update their game, get all their stuff going. Oh, and my stream just... Hello? There we go. World. Uh, anyways, it just, it just decided that I was going to have a bad day. Um, we'll move into Agent Select very soon once we have all five into the game. Um... Teams are having a little bit of fun in all chat. That's okay. But yeah, uh, if you haven't already, uh, we would really appreciate it if you followed the stream because uh, I am trying to work towards affiliate and we need 50 followers. We are literally at every single goal except for 50 followers. So if you could follow the stream, I would absolutely appreciate that. Um, we're still waiting on the last guy. It should be very close. We're so close to being able to actually stream. Um, but yeah. So the uh, the maps actually we can talk about that. Um, 
so how it works for best of three is both teams will each ban one map and then out of the last three um one team will pick a map to play on and the other team will pick a side to play on uh and what we've done uh, what happened this time is icebox was the first map banned and haven was the other map banned by uh mandatory fun uh which leaves us with ascent bind and split uh onichan picked split to play first and mandatory fun decided that they would be attacking first um but yeah with that we're just waiting on sabo to uh update their game you know but yeah uh, we got a couple of people returning from previous games, though. Uh, you might recognize Minyolk from Tommy Hates Me. His team, unfortunately, was unable to play, but he is here, and he's going to be subbing for Mandatory Fun, providing a little bit of extra firepower for them. Shoebox is a player we haven't seen before, but he is a friend of mine who was able to sub in for Mandatory Fun here in this series. And we are also uh, going to be bringing in Onichan Sabo uh, as a sub. Super, super big uh, shout-outs to the two teams out there who were able to provide a couple of players to help us out here, uh, or to help out a team in need. Um, unfortunately, three of the players of Mandatory Fun just, like, ghosted this morning and just did not exist for the entire day. Ooh. It's ghosting. Yeah. Ooh. If we If we ever do this season two and we have like actual like stakes and stuff we may we, we may end up finding people hey and sabo is here finally with uh 10 people in the lobby we are finally ready to get going so we are gonna move into agent select as fast as humanly possible because i am so done with waiting there's only a 30 minute delay it's fine oh, only a 30 minute delay i yeah, yeah only agent 30. select muted i hope it's not muted <laughs> is that a sage insta lock yo uh let me see this guy better play sage like grim i started playing sage just because i watched a grim video and i wanted to do what grim did so i see i see i also watched an xtr video for phoenix so i'm a i went from an omen cypher player to a sage phoenix just can't probably still play Omen Cipher. Dude, okay. Uh, if if chat doesn't know, by the way, I was uh, the first time I played Valorant, it was with Zach, and he told me to lock Sage because we didn't have a Sage, and then I just started playing Sage every game. I was a Sage main because of that. I, I just never bothered learning any other champs. Oh yeah, be because Sage was also mandatory back in the day. I still back think Sage is. Day. I still okay. I still think Sage is kind of mandatory. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's like once in a blue moon that I've seen Sages. Really? I still see Sages most of the- I mean, okay, I, I'm i in, like, low elo, so it is possible that it's different, but- Yo, are we seeing a Sova on Split? That That is Select not something you see every day. Then. You see, the the comp from uh, the Defenders team on HN actually looks like a Split comp, minus, like, you'd usually have some sort of Flash Duelist as opposed to the double mobility ones. But seeing a Sova from the side of Mandatory Fun, I mean, I guess Mean Yoke is a Sova one trick. Like, if I <laughs> asked him- if I if you ask him to play like Phoenix, he'd probably be the Phoenix that sits behind you, and then like I don't know, Molly's the team on accident. My bad. But, I meant to uh, throw a shock dart. Yeah, my bad. That was a shock dart. Either that or you just flash your team into eternity. But you know, Sova is yeah. pretty good. It's just the problem is because of how like claustrophobic I'm gonna say split is. It's just kind of hard to really get that value from Sova like you can on other maps. That's true. Uh, with that, though, we're going to be starting off the pistol round. Remember, there is no balance phase in the playoffs, so, uh, I mean, technically, it doesn't really matter uh, which team is higher ranked at this point, because they're going to be starting from a 0-0, zero, zero, uh, they're going to be playing the game from a 0-0 zero, zero start, and uh, whoever wins will win. We have, like, a pro read right here, because we have a three stack from um, Team Monet Chan in the B Heaven. Well, as I say, that two of them rotate out, but... Here. Um, then we have a mid push. Ooh, Michelle has the one way. Not even I can do that one way. Probably because I'm garbage at this video game. All right, looks like we do see a sage wall going up mid. We do see some util going forward, but they broke a sage wall. They're just gonna fucking burst into this heaven execute. Sage is gonna fall back, try to stay alive. Hopefully, they won't get picked off by a cipher. Double Ooh, swing coming out. Gonna be in trouble. Bringing the sage down to 12 HP. 
now it just looks like they're just gonna keep pushing, although this does mean that what all the Onechan members will be able to rotate. <laughs> oh, why uh, not? We see Michelle just sitting on site, though. Still hidden from the rest of the team. Picks off one, picks off two. However, it is only Zutri left alive right now versus three. Let's see, will he check all the angles? Because he seemed to have a pretty good idea of where this man is. He's going to use that smoke. That means the map will be cut off, but the chain will probably just push through like he just did. Actually, more like triple crossfire. There's multiple angles there he was being shot from. Yeah. Very good attack. Nice little mid play. You don't really see that many mid plays on pistol run versus Sage because it's so hard to break that wall. Absolutely. They, they were able to get it down before it reinforces. Remember, Sage's wall has 400 HP uh, while it's being formed as it kind of rises and is sort of cracked still. And then once it uh, finishes forming, it gets 800 HP again. So if you break it in that beginning phase, it's a lot easier and uh, it, it'll be permanently down for the rest of the, you know, the Sage wall. Uh, it does look like AVP3 is going to be in trouble here. Already haven't used the jet dash to get out. Meanwhile, the only person there to help him is Wankwiener on that race. It looks like Team Android Flynn is going to burst onto this bomb site. Oh, AVP3 being been taken one. down by Sabo on yeah, that peak. Down by now it's just a retake. It looks like Yukmi will get Wankwiener. Now it's a 3v4 retake. With the weapon disadvantage, this is going to be very hard for uh, Team Oni trying to kind of do it. He's going to eat a shock that. dart. Two more going he's down. not going to be able to get the right clicks in. Oh, that's going to be a flawless round, actually. Feels bad for Team uh, for Team Oni Chan. Just really, these pushes are just super explosive. Look, at this, this uh, point, uh, I would like to re remind everyone again that this is basically a show match because we've got team, uh, we've got players from all kinds of different teams coming out. So, uh, at this point, whoever wins at, at this point doesn't really matter. I think we want to declare Tomi hates I'll me as champions just from women. like the uh, their group stage rankings because I don't really know yeah, how but they else dropped to do out. This. So yeah, they did. They drop dropped out. out so. so whoever wins this is the real winner. True. 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 Right, so it does look like they're going to go for a little bit of mid patch, but will be sent off by that omen smoke. However, they are sending a three stack towards the A site, which could be very bad for them as the nade gets picked off. I feel like they're probably going to pivot this to a B play. Looks like it's and I was well. right. Looks like there's going to be the omen of Zuchi will take out Sabo on the jet. People from pushing into heaven here. I mean, Yoke's gonna drop down onto site and try to catch Michelle's cipher here, and he does get that. That's a little be, bit of shooting in between them. That's gonna be sight for him. Mm hmm. Over AP3, we'll take out Jealous and Shoebox, leaving it all into Yukmi and Minyok. Minyok playing by that pillar, and Yukmi. Yukmi in that hell position. He's gonna eat a couple of nades there, not gonna kill him. Over they they have picked up some of the rifles, with the exception of Minyoku, will take on Zutri with a Spectre. Minyoku getting another kill, it's all down to AVP3 versus Minyoku. Oh, the spike hasn't been planted yet, I thought they were playing a post plant. It looks like AVP3 will push towards Minyoku, this is all about timing at this point. Uh oh. Will AVP3 swing on him? He will. Ace denied. Very good round coming out from the defense. Funny. Yeah, especially with the weapon disadvantage. Yeah, the Spectre Ace would have been very cool. But now, like, the problem is because all the members from uh, Team Onechan, except for uh, AVP3, died, all of them are going to be on eco buys, basically. Two of them bought rifles and full shield. Looks like AVP3 is just going to go for this old dorm. However, he will have a nasty surprise of all of the mandatory fund uh -oh. members. Pushing towards him. Sabo's gonna run straight. He's gonna get blinded though. Good oh, utility play coming detected. in. He's gonna allow AVP3 to get that alt orb. Uh, Silver alt's gonna get popped onto site here. Gonna get a little bit of damage off. It looks Don't like they're just gonna. The alt, though. It looks like they're just gonna try to run away and go towards this B site, which could very well work in their favor as all the members of Team One Chan have rotated off of B. However, as I say that. Michelle's Cypher and the Rays are both rotating back towards B. So it looks like uh, Sabo is just going to try to get out here fast. Gets the Cypher camera down. 
Tobias is going to try to fast execute this. He knows the Cypher's on the tip because he heard that tripwire oh. going down. Ooh, that may will or dash that in. Boombot. It's going to be in trouble. Now, this is all about Michelle, who will get taken down by Cypher, Spike not being down. able to use his position. Zootree getting standing. four, okay, though. Okay, for Zootree. Will he be able to get the ace that was denied to Minyok this game? He does have the ghoul character and the ghoul knife, so that is very good synergy for him to have. <laughs> not not going to pop that omen ultimate. He's not really looking the right way. Oh, he is oh. jumping across. Alright, this is very dangerous for him. I have the spike. I've already just concede this position, yeah, which could actually catch Minyok off guard. He's gonna be able now to get if the plant off. Minyok decides to push here. Is he going for a knife? Oh, oh and he gets the ace. <laughs> oh, very, very good play. That was some big brain stuff coming out from Zutri. For the sure, TP yeah. back to B main. Oh. They're very, like, I would never have done that play. Just to try to fake him out. Very good job catching him off guard. Yeah. But with that, we do still see the money pretty crippled on the Onichan side. Very poor buys coming in. However, from a team mandatory fun, we do have four rifles coming out. Only one of those on light shields and an Ares. We have actually Onichan returned... was able to pull off. Uh, what is this? Yeah, Onichan was able to pull off those. Uh, Three rifles? No, four rifles as well, and a Spectre though instead. Yeah, but so these buys are about equal actually. We do have an Ares Andy coming. Let's see if this uh, Ares Andy will be able to get anything done. It does just look like they're gonna play like a strong A presence from uh, the mandatory fund side with those Brim smokes three going could down. Be getting some good kills here. Gets one, two, three. Holy crap! Four. Oh, Ace denied by Minyo. Man, what is it with these people in denying aces? First, AVP3 denies the ace to Minyok, and then Minyok denies AVP3's ace? Whew. Lots of multi-kills coming in. I feel like it, it, this is also partially because these teams are grouping up a lot more, and uh, you can see the potential of being sprayed down as a four-man group um, by some people here. Yes. This yeah, I feel like something that they could do a little bit more. Because I just feel like there's not enough W key that I'm seeing. I feel like they kind of need to disconnect the brain and just start pressing that W key a little bit more, you know? As a, um... This is, this is like a, pro level analysis. Get out of my way! Well, as an average W key enjoyer, I need to see it too if that people are using the best tactic in the game, which is holding W and praying for your life. However, as I say, Asabo is actually getting a lot of position here. Okay, gets gonna two with that jettle. Gonna continue pushing Will he for more, but oh no, he's not. He's just gonna sit there for a little bit. Watch the angle. It does look down. like they are gonna try to take the B heaven position with this space that Sabo has been given, and he can pretty much ensure that nobody will rotate from fence because he has a really strong position. However, they're all three coming towards B. However, AP3 will take down Yugmi. Jealous will trade him back though, and it does look like Sabo is gonna try to get this space on A, which will be very successful. There's nobody here. Yeah, we can see uh, Omen sort of sitting back at CT, and Cypher is still on B. Yeah, they're going to have a very hard time retaking this. Look at how entrenched Mandatory Fun will be able to get before his retake comes in. However, now they Not will know. Not entirely sure what the knife there was for. I feel like the knife was a little bit wasted on them. Uh, Cypher is going to come in, going to get the confirmed ping on site. Not sure if it's going to be too useful for them, though. I mean, it does suddenly want out. to check screens or anything. Free fire is not going to see anybody. One just enemy yet. remaining. Gonna get one. Michelle will take out two. shoe box. Wow. Yeah. Very good. Zutri's playing a out. very good game today. Yeah. He's hitting all the shots. He's doing very good work for his team. We did see an ace coming out from him. So like only only three of these kills are like outside of that one round. <laughs> oh, actually that's true. But uh, it seems like he's he's been doing quite a lot for his team though. A lot of those. He's just a utility player. He's not yeah. one of those. He's not one of those W cures who just W's everywhere and then like just tries to get kills. He's actually doing work, but also getting killed. Yeah, for sure. I need more players like this in ranked. What can I say? I think I feel like most of the time my ranked teammates they just they just are dead before you can do anything. Right? Yeah, they're the W cures. All right, does look like they will get the info that there are presence mid. 
Senku will that. We'll take the aggro peak and lose it. Won't be able Dude, to hit that flick. icon. Throws me off, man. Every time I see it, I think it's a triple kill. <laughs> It does look like they will get a strong hem position. Sabo swinging with his silver drone. However, will get spotted by the cypher dart, which will tell them that there is a B presence being taken. Two people will push up to the hem position. It does look like Zuchi's going to try to blind and get through, which he will. But he will get immediately killed. Kind of just running through that smoke. Never mind, I don't want this man on my ranked team. It does look like they will get more kills coming in for the mandatory fun side. However, we do see... Oh! Well... And a flawless round will come in. Yeah. Even with the... Uh, the KO down. Does, does he count as alive? Like, does he drop his gun? Because if so, well, he's technically ideas. alive, so... Oh, it he does not like drop his gun. like he dropped his gun. Alright. It also said flawless, so I assume they were just flawless. Yeah, I know they're considered alive when they're still, like, in the downplay. But, like, I was wondering if his econ would get screwed over by that. I don't think it does. Seeing as, yeah. um... He has 4,600 with a rifle. I don't think he bought that this round. Wait, what are these cypher cages coming out from Michelle? These are very interesting. Is this like a one-way? Go for more of an aggro, so the drone. drone's gonna come out for a little bit of extra vision. I'm gonna see they one person coming use on to contend with. Pings, yeah, he's gonna get that one thing off. A drone just sitting behind the people. Okay. Zutri getting more Rizzo kills. Also gonna come out. They're force a couple wow. of people out of positions. And that's going to be the site. Mandatory fun. Me, not going to get the flank. Jet off. See get one kill. with those jet knives. He's good. It looks like he might try to stick it he's towards half here. Fuse. And he's going to get it. One enemy remaining. Oh, oh no, he's will not. It? Oh, well, oh. now he does. He is, that was a like nice right click. Super good right. I feel, the jet right click is like. I feel like it's so inconsistent sometimes. You get those like. Sometimes you're like point blank. And like all of them just miss. Yeah, well, what's it? Um, that's just riot for you. I've been told that apparently aiming for the crotch is the best method because it it is like the biggest surface area. But <laughs> I don't know. People say to just aim hit for like the lower the lower area of the body because uh, they tend to go upwards or something like that. I don't just know. get three dick shots and you're fine. Yeah, true. <laughs> Alright, it does look like we are going to see another B presence coming out. It looks like this, they just rotated the cypher. However, this raised double satchel will get a lot of info, so they will know there's not a lot of people towards this A side. There will be a fast flank coming out here. It does look like they're just going to immediately push in. However, Senku will take down Sabo with that jet dash in. And it does look like... Um, they will have a little bit of control, but they won't try to push it. They don't really have a lot of util that they're trying to use here. We do have Jealous sitting on the site. He's already crossed over and does know that there are three people in the range of his knife. Sage is going to go for the plant here. It does look like she will get the plant off. Now it's a 4v4 retake. Jet being taken kind of low for the uh, defender's side. Now it's a 4v3. I feel like it's a pretty big advantage. There. Not able to get a pickoff. Oh, oh, wow. The Brimstone also is going to come out, but it's going to be a little bit useless. Wait, didn't Brim just ult last round? No. I don't think he did. There's no way he got seven things in one round. That's what I was saying. Wait, man, that was two rounds ago. Hey, chat, do you remember? There's 12 people, one of, of you has to respond. Huh? Yeah, exactly. There's 12 of you. Come on, one of you has to know, right? Look, this is a really weird cypher setup. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I haven't actually seen oh. I don't know what's going on. Uh oh! Well, well, it looks like he will take down Minyo, but he will get out alive with that rifle. Oh yeah, the Cypher setup. Definitely an interesting one. Which will mean that that's a little bit more money that his team will have going into this round. But as I say that, all he could buy for someone's a Bulldog, which is our favorite weapon. It does look like they will take the Cypher back towards that B site. Probably where he's stronger in my opinion, because I feel like the B site with how much more or less open it is than the A site. How much more or less open? Yes, I agree. Just goes here. Yeah, it it's like uh, what's it? 
Yeah, it is it's very emphasized open. as the negative. Yeah. It's it's such a it's such like a courtyard sort of site. You can't really get Cypher to do a whole lot on there. Nowhere to run. Yeah, and it looks like they know because Sabo is just taking a lot of space. I just gonna W key through to defender spawn. <laughs> this is the kind of gameplay that I like to see. Over Wiener will take down Jealous, but will immediately get traded by Yugmi. This is such a powerful position. I just want to watch what Sabo, Sabo is gonna do here. This is the, I, I don't even care what's gonna happen to everyone else. I just want to watch Sabo. Shoebox is going to take Knout uh, while he's attempting a plant here. I That's the pick that Sabo Michelle. needed. And we will get two picks. There is a uh, Zutri is just this? running away. Either rotating to vents or just trying to save. But I feel like a save might honestly be the move here. However, they will get the resurrection AVP3 onto AVP3. Back. back from the dead. Firing going on. Sabo's going to take out the Sage and AVP3. Maybe also Zutri, but he's going to miss all of the jet knives. Zutri's also going to miss his spray. And he's going he to be able to take out with Sabo bullets. with a headshot. Oh, this is a tragedy for Zutri. Well, for Sabo, too. Oh. Oh, and he gets shot in the back. Dude, is this deathmatch? <laughs> From the amount of getting shot in the back I see, wow. I swear, this is just deathmatch. Anyway, we will be coming into this next round. It does look like team on each hand will have like a really not that good buy. Two people on rifles, one on only a sheriff, and oh. meanwhile another with a specter. Oh, meanwhile, we got a judge coming out. Yo, is this Actually, judge dude, duty? Okay, I don't understand. How is the, how are the shotguns so viable in Valorant? Like you go to CS:GO and the Nova is just like the biggest meme of the gun, like the, the biggest meme of a gun possible. But in Valorant, the judge is actually good. Yeah, it's numbers. I mean, the judge needs to be better. I know, I, yeah, Remember the that? shotguns used to be even more overpowered. I, I don't understand how they did that. Well, uh, what I do know is that Zutri just took out a 1 dig on Yugami. Maybe it wasn't a 1 dig, but it was certainly a nice too. deagle shot. Yep, this is actually a huge drop for him to lose. But for the rifle, will still be there since they don't have any utility to go pick it up with. Minyok will be holding for it because he knows they're going to want to go aggro and try to get that gun. Meanwhile, his teammates are getting a little bit of mid control. However, there is still a lot of mid control held by the defenders. She so is going to continue to stay on B main, trying to catch a couple of stragglers as they rotate out. Never Sabo will get Senku and then immediately get traded by AVP3 with that judge that we were just talking about. Oh, oh what a God. fun weapon. Thank you, Riot Games. We love shotguns and first person shooters. It does look like they will just try to go for this B push that they've been going for. Just time and time again. AVP3 oh, me just Yoke. waiting with the judge. Oh, he actually will get caught. Oh, that was an unfortunate position for him to be in. Mean Yoke just stronger on the day. Will he look down? He will look down and catch out Zutri. However, one Michelle just remaining. got a kill onto Five Shoebox, but he trade though. that back. A spike's still there, but I don't think that Wiener will have enough time to go stop this plan from happening. But as I see that... Run away. Oh, the jump slow down there. He can't plant there. <laughs> he can't put. Is he oh, going to lose to the clock? That's going to oh, be a round no. to the clock. Oh, oh dude, he gets a like... kill on the rope at the very last second. That is just unfortunate. And it's we do know like that watching... Jealous is normally a CSGO player, so I honestly don't blame him. The, you know, it does make, you would expect to be able to plant there, but you just can't, unfortunately. Dude, is this, is this not as Vincere from CSGO? I swear that's the kind of round we just saw. It's Navi or G2? I don't remember what team it was. Just nobody being able to plant the spike. Well, as we said, it's the last round of the half. Very good buy coming out from Fun Team Mandatory Phone. To a tie again. Recon is gonna but come out. Team on Chan only ha they have three Spectres and two Rifles. Uh -oh. That's pretty tragic. Money well, for We them. have seen them do very well with the Spectres before, especially AVP3 pulling out a uh, Ace at some point as well in the group stage with those uh, Spectres. Gonna get take are gonna get detected by the Dart or by the knife. It's basically a Dart. Means you will. Prompt a rotation a coming out. Going on. All these members are going towards B since they know the cipher is on A, which means that B is a lot more alluring right now. We'll see Sabo getting a lot of B pressure right now. And also a lot of mid pressure taken for the Mantroy Fun side. And Zutri will just give up this entire site. He kind of just wants to play the a cheeky it. angle here. I'm going to try to pick some people as they come out of ends, but nobody is going Yo, this to. Oh, this is actually a matchmaking games. game with that kind of angle. 
I swear I die the thing all the time. I mean, this is basically a game of like fully randoms, right? Like we have we have Onichan who obviously plays together, but then mandatory fun is obviously three subs today. Unfortunately, a little bit of a hiccup in the. Uh, we do see uh, things. We do see a cipher ult coming out. However, he will not go to pick up that gun. He opting to stay with the spectre. Want Very odd out, weapon choice. People. EP3 taking down Shoebox. Smokes off Sabo. So now it's just a 2v3. 1v3. 1v3. All that's left is Michelle with a Spectre. Will he <laughs> He's just right going to get blind fired through the smoke. You you love to see it. This is uh, this is one of those meaningful choices in gunplay mattering that Riot Games always talks about. <laughs> with that love to see it. interesting first half, some seriously different plays that we've seen uh, that we've never seen from this tournament before. But the half is tied up at six six, and we are going to go into a quick little break here, and we'll be back with the second half of the game uh, in about a minute and a half. Ooh. All right. And we're back. This is the second half. Zach, can you unpause the match? Um, we had an interesting first half uh, coming out with a 6-6 six, six result. Uh, some interesting matches. We had an ace come out. Uh, with that, though, the second half will decide the first match of the series. Um, and it, it's looking like the series might actually go to the third game. I was not expecting it to go to the third game, actually, before. But we may actually hit that. It's still different, you know? All right, it does look like we will see a strong A presence coming out from the one Chun side with the Cypher lurking up mid. This is a classic Zach play. I would always do this in my matchmaking games, and then my team would usually die on this push. So let's see if this ends up like my ranked games usually did back when I was but a wee Cypher main. It looks like they're actually not even going to push. They're just going to hold pressure. That was a not nice cage it does not really cover that much however shoebox will just pop that wall make them <clears throat> make sure that he cannot be caught out from here but michelle will not force the issue we'll just keep staying here as his teams just start to push up in the say however a three stack here from team mandatory fun jealous will take out senku Sabo will dash in and get the trade that's mvp3 but yeah Minyo oh, is going to get two <laughs> with this frenzy here. However, we'll get shot in the back by Michelle. Technically, it was the side of the face, but it was basically the back. Last now we have some really <laughs> funny spacing here. As I say that... Shubox is going to take out one Greener 420, leaving just Michelle to clutch 1v2. However, actually, both of them are full health. I take everything back. Alright, they talk about his one-taps. Did you hear about the Michelle uh, one-taps? What one-taps? Uh, he's about to hit him. Ready? Oh! Well, that that, that is a pretty awkward fight. situation. However, that's not. Uh, yeah, he didn't fire a bullet yet, so. You know. Oh! All right. Well, there's, there's a kill, headshot. So. Well, he, he looked the right way though. Shoebox. He knows that shoebox is there, but. Is it... Oh, and shoebox is gonna get it. Very nice. I think that's a little bit of the sage difference we see coming out here. Both Sages deciding to hold back their fire and let their teammates get a lot of the kill. It's really just good support players coming out here. As I say that, we do get into round two. We do see an another Spectre buy coming out from the uh, mandatory fun side. Well, Team Money China will just stick to their classics. Maybe we'll see another Glock round. Ooh. <laughs> they win with nothing but classics. It does look like they are going to do a little bit of a split push, two towards mid and one to three towards A. But they will not really take any pressure as you expect people to do on a classic round. They're still going to try to play the slow, but as I see that, the three A players start walking up. However, it is just the KO on the site. They have three players pressing the issue mid. However, they are stuck with just blocks, so this, this is still very much... Win oh, and Minyok's going to get one. Yeah, Minyo gets two, three. three. Spike down A. Sprays them all nice down specter work specter. coming out from Minyok, and this just tears apart One the push for gonna Team Mantoy right Fun. And this leaves just, and just like that, it's on to Michelle. Man, this is a really familiar setting to which Cypher, you saw last round. Cypher is very much known for his offensive capabilities. Mm -hmm. Oh, right clicks, right clicks. Nope. Lands, I think Never mind. Oh, and he's going to go for oh. the knife. <laughs> He almost got the uh, knife. Minyok's oh. gonna snag the 4K before he can knife, though. 
if I was I think Sabo, they're going to be doing some VOD review on that one. If I was Sabo, I would have dropped the report mean yoke in the chat. That's absolutely tragic. Although, Losing it's not, as, okay, it's not as kill. bad as in CSGO when you lose a knife, right? Because it's you know, $1,500 down the drain, but... Well, I try to be a knife demon, so... I think we talked about this last week. I think you're more of a Zeus demon, but... No, I'm... I am. There's no Zeus here. I have to be a knife demon. I, I just... I like the Zeus so much in CSGO, man. I don't know why they don't have the taser here. Because they can't copy that much from CSGO. I think it was. Right, it looks like we'll see an aggressive push coming out. Wank Wiener missing the shot into Sabo, who only had a Spectre. How unfortunate for him. Just giving a free gun up. Thank you for the charity. Ooh, oh, Sabo's you actually get three two. now with that Spectre. That's more than just charity was, at this point. That was a Phantom. Oh. But yeah, he just I am blind. racking up all the money. <laughs> Very good kills coming out from he's Sabo he's here. He's going to come up towards mid. He's going to get crunched by two people at once, though, here. Keep on each and he gambles. Oh, he's not gonna be able to get a five. Dude, is this just. I swear, like, nobody is. Except for Zuchi, is allowed to get their ace this game. We've seen three missed ace opportunities. It's actually a tragedy. Yeah. I, I don't think we've seen this many 4Ks and, like, insane multi kills ever. Um. Yeah, I think the most we've yep. seen is like two ace possibilities, stuff like that, you know. I mean, the key to the ace here is just to W key more. Don't screw it up. Just gotta look at that keyboard and then press that W button. Yeah. Speaking of which, it Ooh, does look like something. not gonna land. But he's gonna see a bunch of people coming out of B main. He's gonna request for help from his teammates here. It looks like what AP3 will do. However, he didn't do it well enough as Sabo does get to take him out with that operator however this is not exactly the ideal Ooh. weapon for a retake and wiener will take down shoebox however the jet knives again. will be used oh he's gonna catch Ooh, a glimpse smoke. of them through here minyok is disconnected uh oh what has happened to him oh that's a tragedy it looks like he's just gonna afk there and uh Defender spawn. Oh, unfortunately, it looks like his power has gone out. We are going to be going on a tech pause after this round, and we may need to do a little bit of a rollback. We have not seen a rollback happen yet. But it Over may the... be necessary. This is true. It does look like they will try to get this defuse off. However, Sabo will whiff the off shot. Maybe on to Jealous, and now we just have the two players left alive. Mino sitting in spawn. Clearly, he just didn't like his team enough. So much that he decided to stop paying his power bill. Just really did not want to play this game anymore. Right, well, let's get a little bit of a pause going on here. I'm going to pause the match timer real quick, Zach, if you want to do that. I already did it. Oh, we did. Okay, awesome. Well, uh, with that, uh, we've got nine people in the chat. How is chat doing? <laughs> uh, we're going to be waiting around for a little bit um, as uh, Mean Yolk gets back here. Uh, I'm actually going to swap over to the analyst desk, because why not? I can get my camera going here. Oh my god, my camera does this stupid thing with the grid again. Hold on. Alright, there we go. And we're going to switch back over. I do think it's pretty unfortunate that this power pill was not paid in enough time. Man. <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> This is like those stories about people who like stop paying their water bill and they're just like, well, I don't have water anymore, what? You mean to tell me that if you don't pay your water bill, you don't get water? Wow, you don't say. Um, I don't think we're gonna need to do a rollback there. Um, I think we'll just continue the game from the 7-9 scoreboard. Um, yeah, not sure if that's really worthy of a uh, rollback there. We didn't miss that many rounds. I mean, the problem is that, like, stuff had already happened before Minyok had disconnected. Yeah, that would. I, I don't think Minyok being there would have changed the outcome of the round. Yeah. It is unfortunate for him, though. I mean, can we, uh, can we start a GoFundMe to pay Minyok's power bill? Yeah. Uh, we, we, yeah, so once I get to affiliate, which will happen eventually, I hope that happens soon. Guys, follow the stream, please. We, Spiffy Line. Uh, thank you for the follow five minutes ago. Um, yeah, please follow the stream. When I hit 50 followers, I'll be able to apply for affiliate. And uh, when I get affiliate, we'll be able to, you know, pay for Mean Yolk's power bill. 
uh, you know, so he doesn't do things like that. Is, is this the right orientation? Hmm? Oh yeah, it is. It it's is. from Minyok's power. Yeah. That looks more like the FaZe Clan logo, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, I've seen people do it for FaZe up, but I just use it as an F to pay respects. <laughs> as you know, it's it's a tragedy. Oh, well, we're gonna wait around for a little bit longer for Minyok to sit around. Come on, guys, no, they're leaving the stream, no! <laughs> Tragic. This is so sad. We're starting the game very soon. Come on, don't leave the stream. No. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we could talk about what we've seen so far. We do have a pretty top-heavy uh, scoreboard coming out from the mandatory fun side. With uh, the powerless player, Mean Yoke, and Sabo both topping with 20-plus kills in 16 rounds. That's a pretty decent amount. That is... Over 1 KPR. Meanwhile, nobody on uh, the Onichan side having w that, like, even hitting 1 KPR. We do have Zutri and AP3, both with 15 kills, though. Very respectable. Oh, my All Discord right. is absolutely crunching right now. Is he back? He's uh, back. no, he's not. No. Oh, well. We'll be back eventually. Oh my god, my Discord is having a bad day right now. <laughs> well, maybe you should fix your Discord. Did you not pay your Discord bill? I did pay my Discord. But actually, I don't have Nitro. There's no need to buy Nitro, right? Well, maybe we should uh, get you a Discord bill. Like a GoFundMe for your Discord bill, and then a GoFundMe for Minyok's power bill. Yeah. All right, this tech pause is taking uh, quite a while, so at this point, I think we are going to send into a uh, like an actual technical pause. We will be back. Uh, stay on the stream. I hopefully, will not take more than another like five minutes or so, but we are going to send it into a technical pause because we do need to deal with some stuff on our end. All right, we are back. I'm gonna get my Valorant audio back up again. Um, mean Yolk has reconnected and returned from being AFK. So at this point, we are gonna unpause the match and get on with the second half here. It's a seven to nine score. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, he had to get a little emergency paycheck in there. Uh, can pay PSE. I mean, let's just back on. Just start a GoFundMe. So we can get him his power bill paid, and then we'll just launder all the money. You can't say that, because then they're not going to pay you. You have to not say it, and then do it anyway. No, 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 no. I, I say it because then they'll think it's funny, because it's a joke. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it does look like we will have, we'll have some mid-control taken by both teams. As I say that, the defending side mid-control immediately taken away with the death of Shuba Hux. You get a couple of... Cypher pings going on in here. Yugi is going to get absolutely just like smoked off right there. And the plant is going to be coming in for Senku. He's going to get it. Yugi is going to shoot through the smoke, I think, and get a kill. Mm hmm. He, uh, Wiener caught with his pants down. But as I say, Azutri kills Minyok, leaving us in a, two, in a 3v4. Heavy control still being held by the attacking side, who is now defending. Michelle will look to ego this, but immediately gets opt by Sabo. And now we do see Zutri in this middle position. Still could be a very big thorn in the side of this retaking side. Or he will TP out, try to catch him off guard. We'll actually do that. Ooh, we'll kill Jones Sabo. Jones is gonna miss AVP3. And that's gonna be the end of the round there. Eight to nine. Uh, still in the lead to a team mandatory fun though. Very good hold coming off from them. It's the ability to hold on to that heaven position really just put it like through a big wrench into the plans of the retake for the mandatory fun side. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh yeah, the view count was messed up on my end. It's up to 12 now. I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah, maybe you should get back computer. 
I think it's because I plugged the link in a few other places, and then because mm. it was a tech pause, and I was like, ah, you know what? I'll, I'll plug the link in a few other places. <laughs> All right. Don't look like we'll have a lot of strong presence coming up from this offending side on A. Me yoking for a nasty surprise. He's stuck in this corner. Oh, and that raisonade is gonna be uh, bad news for him. Jealous still hanging out on site. Me can get two kills before Senku is able to trade him off. You will not kill my or ally. The or resurrection. Oh, Zutri. Did he just get knifed? He just got knifed. Oh, dude, that's Zutri, the knife the, that you've been waiting for. The knife demon. Yes. I think I think, I think we need to make a highlight video out of just the finals. I'm not gonna lie. Spike planted. Dude, we like, make a highlight video. It's just a knife kill. <laughs> I think that's more of like a TikTok sort of thing. Okay, Shoebox is going to be left in a 1v3 uh, clutch situation here. However, I do think the move for him maybe is to save that Phantom and uh, get the Econ going a little bit more. Nah, it's NA. They never in. save. It's NA. He's going to get one. He does have the heal up. He's just going to go in for it. And he's caught jumping through the Sage Orb, unfortunately. And Senku's going to be able to kill him. With a little bit of that disrespect, T-Bag coming out. A little bit of a T-Bag coming out. Uh, All right, does it look like there's someone in chat who wants to be banned, yeah, so they got banned? Deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't spend money on followers. Yeah, guys, this stream is 100%. You, you think we would spend money on getting 12 viewers? I think I think there's something, like, gravely wrong with the service that we're using if we spend money and we still only have 12 viewers. I want a refund. Yeah. Out all that banter, it does look like we'll have strong B presence coming out this time from the attacking mm -hmm. side. Okay. It does look like Yugmi. Roomba's gonna come will? out here and force Yugmi to go around a little bit. AVP3 and Zutri are both gonna get a pick at the exact same time. Wall's gonna go up and the B presence is gonna be given. However, Brimstone ult? Brimstone ult? Brimstone ult? Brimstone a very ult? awkward position for the Brimstone to be in. Brimstone How is he alive here? Ult? Wait, he could uh, he could try to get something out of this. This, this could be a very valuable already. position for him to be in. However, he needs to use it right. He will get the kill onto AVP. Oh, and, and he's gonna get caught with this util out, and it's Dude, gonna I be all up to Jealous to get that. I'm a paid viewer. He is a paid viewer, actually. We paid him like fifty cents to be here. You're not supposed to say that. That looks like your view botting. Uh, but I don't think 11 is really a view bot worthy sort of thing. Oh, Jealous gonna pick up two, but he's gonna get shut down by Wagwiener. Well, it was impressive work with a Spectre. Honestly, true. He did get the two. Yeah, that's a little bit of extra econ there. 400, uh, 400 Krez is able to get him a little bit of extra util. You know. We should see a lot better of a buy coming out this round from both teams. We did see full rifles. Oni was able no to actually pull though. back from a three round deficit there, actually taking the lead now after four rounds in a row. That is what you like to see. Yeah, super good uh, play from them, you know, regroup, Cover think about down. what they've been doing, and try something different. And uh, it seems to be working out for them so far. Wow, Zuchi just Ooh. got a really nice pick on the shoebox, caught thinking he was hidden there, but was not. Oh, or Burst Donald's gonna come out for real this time. He's just gonna, gonna WP in. Oh, Sabo's gonna get Sabo two here. Will get two. Leaving it even 3v3. We'll use that jet dash. Cover the spike will go down. It is an advantage. Well, now it's even more of an advantage for the attacking side as they take down Jealous. Leaving it just on Sabo and Minyok. If they will know that Wiener is in the. Uh, oh, spot. he's gonna whiff a few shots, and that's not gonna be the kill. Dude, maybe I we should get an art whiffing video. Holy crap. Anyway, it's now just on to Minyok, who will run out, get the first kill onto a wiener. We'll look towards that B main position, sees the cipher camera. And he he doesn't know where to shoot. He's gonna get collapsed on. Oops, F in I the chat. My mic. Sorry. <laughs> now why would you do that? That's that's just You know, I wanna okay. I think if if we get enough viewers next time around, if we I, I want to do the thing where the, uh, the LCS does where they're like, who's winning agent select? Spam the chat now. I just remembered that, <laughs> and I really want to do that. Wait, you want to you want to call draft diff now? 
Okay, Bro. I think Valorant needs a draft pick mode. Um, maybe not bans, but they need oh, a way for teams nice to like pick against what their enemies have done. I think it should be first team picks two, then three, then two, then three. Um, no, I don't mean like that. I mean like everyone shits on G2 for like all their bad drafts. Good. I know, but I'm just saying Valorant needs a draft mode. I mean, I think right now with the blind pick, it's like a little bit hard to. This character pool's too small, though, is the thing. Yeah, but we with draft TP, you can kind of counter people. AVP3 and Zutra are going to get two kills after Jealous. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a trade here. 4v3 for Onichan. Oh, no, never mind. He's going to make it a 3v3. Senku's going to get the bomb Yoke down. Yoke had a really good position, but that's shut down by Zutri. Michelle is going to get wow, two to end the round, making it match point for Team Onichan. I mean, we're talking about all this bullshit. Match point. <laughs> a lot of action actually happened, but... Yeah. Uh, fog. <laughs> Alright, the money is pretty piss poor for the defending side. They will not get rifles in full armor on everybody. Shoebox will only have light shields. We see a Bucky on Sabo. Never mind a Judge on Sabo and a Spectre on Jealous. Minyok with no shields with that Phantom. He is clearly just going for the gas can glass cannon. Gas I will cannon. kill you. Yeah, gas cannon. Don't worry, I, I speak English. Anyway, Minyok doesn't is like not going to be able to catch anybody on the ace side here as most of Onichan is pulling a little bit of a B presence here. Wankwin is going to pull out the Raze ult and try to get a kill or multiple. I'm waiting for the Rosa ult. Come on, show me the Rosa ult. Oh, I'm not going to get anybody. AB, we're going to get one. Shoebox going to trade him back. Wankwiener and Zuchi are each going to get one. Making it a 4v2 for the side of Onichan here. Shoebox is gonna four. blindly fire, get one as he peeks out of the smoke here. Three v two. Knife demon, knife demon. Show okay. me the knife oh. demon. One Jealous. Oh, wait, is now get it's one a one v one. That's gonna leave it in a one v one. Michelle versus Jealous. However, Jealous very low. No way to get revived. And Michelle, all Michelle has to do is play for time here. So looks like he a will do that. Noise. Now he's gonna peek out. Oh. Not sure why Jealous would go for the uh, the defuse there. Probably just wants to tap it to bait him out, but he was just too quick. That is true. And that is well, game four. Well, that was interesting. Um, definitely some rounds that we weren't expecting there. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say. That was definitely an interesting game. We do see five first bloods for both Minyok and Sabo. And uh, another three from their teammates, meaning that they had 12 rounds that they start out with an advantage, but despite that, only managing to win nine of those rounds. Meanwhile, Team Onechan were able to pull the full 13. Do see a lot of impact coming out from Zutri and AVP3, both with three and four first bloods respectively, really being able to open up some of these rounds for their team, especially Zutri. He just had a lot of impact, I felt like, on this omen with his utility usage and just his raw aim. That's true. We're, and we're seeing kind of a blocky scoreboard here. Obviously, we got uh, the two at the top from <laughs> um, Mandatory Fun, then three from Oni, two from Mandatory Fun, two from Oni, and then uh, Shoebox rounding out the scoreboard at the bottom. For I mean, Shoebox fun. has a pretty nice score. He does have a very nice score. For those of you who can't see, his, he, has, he does have a 69 uh, combat average combat score, so that was very cool. The uh, It's a very funny number. <laughs> yeah, it is a very funny number. Um, but with that, though... Uh, that was the first round of the finals. We will be playing more out. Remember that there are, um, it is a best of three. So if Onichan wins this next round, that will be the end of the finals. Um, and they will be the champions of the season one of Hello World Valorant Open. If uh, Mandatory Fun is able to pull out a win here, um, then we'll be going into the tiebreaker round three. But with that, we're going to go on a real quick break as we get map bands and team sides situated for the next um for the next round. We are back with the second game of the series. Onichan took the first game um, with a 13 to nine victory, uh, winning, I think six or seven rounds in a row towards the end there. Um, Quite an impressive feat. The next map was chosen by Mandatory Fun. They decided to go to Bind, um, which leaves, if we go into round three, uh, which leaves a scent for round three. But uh, Onichan decided that they would want to attack first. Um, so 
uh, with that, I believe we're just about ready to go into agent select. So we will do that. If uh, when Achan loses this, he could really be stuck in a bind. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I am uh, the funny joke man. We definitely needed that. <laughs> oh, dude, they have a sky. Do you see a sky for the attacker side? I don't know. Hopefully, the um, spectator flashes won't be like as bright as they are if you actually get flashed because um, I don't have an eye, um, eye doctor appointment. For a very I'm gonna long have time. to put a, like a, an epilepsy warning on the stream if sky if the sky starts pulling some stuff. However, uh, thankfully, shoebox for the glory of our uh, not glory like the safety of our eyes will actually hover a Reyna That's instead of like good. a character like a breach, a phoenix, or a sky. However, Wiener will go for the phoenix, which means we might not be able to see for a pretty <laughs> long time if they chain these flashes together. Oh, Jealous also on the gone, KO. Dude. Dude, I want to see a mean yoke stage. I'm ready for a mean yoke to pull out some grim walls right here. This is um, not what we want, but it's what we need. Have you seen the clip um, your agent. of an omen TPing on top of bind? And someone commented that Olaf boosted a little too hard there. <laughs> oh, I've, I've not seen that. Oh, that's so funny. Dude. Rest in peace, Fnatic. They basically dropped... Um, to well, they dropped a uh, GW and uh, Golden, so that roster died. Damn. I feel like uh, in the Valorant League, though, at this point in the NA, at least, what are you gonna do? Sentinels have 500 points in the in the thing. I don't think any oh, yeah. other team is able to challenge them, even if they are better at this point. Oh yeah, dude, they they have ten, they have Shazam, they have Sick. Like, I think they were a winning team before they even had 10s, but 10s just kind of locked it out. Like, C9 originally had a little bit of a, a rebuttal, but then 10s moved over and C9 was kind of screwed. Hey, C9's team has been playing a little bit better from what I've seen, because they aren't so 10s uh, heavy. That's true. Like, it, it's, not, it's not just friends, because they lost 10s, so it's no longer 10s and friends. 10s and friends. But that, that's basically what C9 was. That's true. The, the shots being called by uh, Shinobi, I think Shinobi was shot called, but it was basically just 10 to go kill. Yeah. Sick him, 10s. <laughs> yeah. We originally saw a little, bit of, uh, a little bit heavy B present. It still is heavier on the B side of things for Team Oni-chan. Um, Mediocre has this really aggressive push, slow walking. Oh, he will miss the two duelists in the shower. Wait, hold on. What yeah. happened? What just happened with Mediocre here? What? <laughs> he just uh, slow pushed through short. Oh, oh he's gonna he turn around. He's gonna so get them. Oh, oh he's no! whipping. No, beat yoke. Oh no. oh no! Oh, this is a tragedy. This is a tragedy oh. of the maximum scale. That is oh. so unbelievably sad. That does immediately pivot the attention of the attackers towards A. Since they know Mean Yoke was an A player, however, two of the defenders will be rotating in the brimstone. In that U-Haul position, Ooh. will he get killed by the Me? Phoenix? Gonna get one. Three bullets left. Reload's gonna yes, go off, will. and he's gonna get two. Spike down. Oh, wow, this looked like a very unfortunate position for the defenders, but it really turns out to be advantageous. Jealous is gonna get another, and that's gonna be a four v two now. One enemy remaining. And another that's is gonna get taken out. Tree. Omen oh, is gonna get taken out by Yubi for the three K with the frenzy. Wow, despite Minyo whiffing all of his shots and dying. Provided valuable information to his team, I think. I mean, the thing is, they still had a lot of B pressure, though. Like, the other three players were moving towards B. That's true. Well, I guess he just baited them. You it's actually the 500 IQ we just, big frame the, play. The, we don't question it. The Prime gives you aimbot, and that's all that really matters. Here. Uh, true. Here. Here. I'm just waiting to get the Mage Punk Blade. Give me. Why do you like that? Knife so much. It's, it, because it's cool. I don't think it looks that cool. We're gonna see a little bit of an aggro showers push coming out from Wank Wiener 420 and friends. Smoke's gonna come out from the form of the Brimstone, but they're gonna spam a little bit through that smoke and they're gonna get Wank Wiener all the way down to 19 HP and they're gonna rotate out. Actually, they're gonna leave Omen sort of in here, slow walking out. 
Yeah, they try not to give away as much info as possible. Since both these players are playing on site, they will be able to hear if they fast run. In general, though, uh, they do get out with all players alive. However, obviously, uh, Wang Winner is a little bit low. They kind will keep the open support. lurking. It looks like you might run into the sage here of Minyok, who will take him out. Ooh. It does look like Wang Wiener is just holding on here. A... <sighs> sitting in here. Well, Senku's gonna Senku take out Jealous. Take out Jealous. Yeah. Do you see a blind Senku coming out? Come in. Spike carrier is gonna get taken Spike out by Sabo. B. Wank is gonna get taken out by Minyok as well. Last player standing. He's just on Senku Senku. to clutch it up here. Senku's gonna get one. Can he can't get left. the rest of them? He knows that one was. He knows another one was on safe. Probably will anticipate the elbow Ooh. push. But it gets taken out by Minyok. Too many people at once. Good Glock round from the attacking side, but unfortunately not strong enough to take down the Spectres. However, this will kind of hurt the economy of the defending side. They will still be on Spectres. Meanwhile, the attacking side, aside from that odd um, Sheriff pickup, will have full rifles, albeit Michelle having only half shields. And a reminder to everyone who might be new to the stream, we would really appreciate it if you followed us. Uh, I am working on getting to affiliate, and we do need 50 followers for that. We're close to there. Oh, and Minyok's gonna <laughs> do the wall. Is this one of those walls I was talking about? It is one of those walls. Now, whether... Oh, he does hear the alt orb go off. This could be big. Maybe he will hold on to this position, but they just get the alt orb and they say, nah. Uh, they just decide that it's not worth their time. Mm-hmm. Jet V Jet Sabo, and gonna take Jet out AVP3. comes out on top. Now Minyok will push in the shadows position. He's gonna see nobody here and he's gonna say, Hey guys, I think they rotated. And then the team's gonna be like, Sorry, this is still Loki. We don't do comms. I'm kidding, of course. So it does look like we will have the attacking side going towards B. The only problem being that there's three people here. I think you just pissed so off all the solo heroes in chat. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Wagner 420 is gonna get one. He's gonna get oh, almost gets two from the alt, but Michelle's gonna be able to finish off those kills along with Zutri. This leaves just Sabo to clutch it up against three. He's blinded and smoked off. And he's just gonna get, get shot taken from down. All Good round coming out from the offense. However, this and, does leave. Uh, yeah. Hmm? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, this does leave uh, little in the pockets of AVP3 and Wing Queener, both having to. Well, one will have to rely on it, by the other one will just not really have a very good gun. Oh no! As he's gonna it looks like. force the. F oh, he's gonna get a phantom buy from a teammate. He's yeah. Gonna return it. Ah yes, the knife main. Come out from Zutri, <laughs> knife demon. We did see that coming out I last have round. He could get an ace with that knife. Never know. <laughs> Yo, I want to see a knife face coming out. I feel like that's got to be staged. There's no way you can get a knife face, right? Yeah. Well, it does look like we will see a bit of a split push default coming out here. However, this timing. Sabo not seeing Zuchi. Wait, no, he did see Zuchi. Oh, Zuchi he's going to get wallbanged by Shoebox. The war of the wallbangs. And Sabo just missed all those knives. He's going to be tilted from that one. Zutri My hairline would be Sabo, so far yeah. back after that one. <laughs> Does look like they are going to play towards this A position. The Sentinel Sheriff. Oh, uh oh. Sentinel Sheriff is about to save him. <laughs> and Wiener will barely get out with his life. No, he will get taken down by Minyok. However, Zushi will take out Yuki. Oh. Leaving, leaving the site open to team. Pony Chan. But it does look like they will try to retake from this spawn position. They will both I go into heaven. Never mind, only one going into heaven. Shoebox going to that lower position, and Jealous is just going to run oh, out. No, she he decides that he down is down his nope. And Zutri Shubox. taking out Jealous, he can get another ace in this series. Oh? If Shoebox will let him. He teleports up. He may actually miss the timing here since Shoebox did peek out there. He does miss the timing, but Shoebox may get taken out by a different member of the team here. Now, now he, ha he has to know where Shoebox is, right? Nope, Shoebox is looking, though. Teammates fought Shoebox them out. Makes a lot of noise. And that's going to be the ace for Zutri. Tying it up. 2v2. Or 2-2, two two, sorry, in the uh, 
in the series, or in the game. The series is currently 1-0 for Oni. Now he has, wow, five of his skills were in one round. What a good play from Zutri. Man, watch us go to a third map and gets another ace. Mm -hmm. I think I think we're going to need to make a video just like <laughs> of Zutri's aces. <laughs> Clickbait, like two, ace two aces in one final? No way. <laughs> Uh, two aces, one final knife demon. That's what genius say. Now uh, we do see some aggression towards the A short position. However, we do see Yukmi just playing this U-Haul position. This is a position I play very often. Nobody ever wants to play it. Yeah, nobody it does look like. Does look like they will start walking towards the site. If he just sprays, all he barely fire. misses that through the smoke. Ooh. Only he knew how close he was. He will take out that cat. And this should tell the defenders that there is a strong A presence coming out from the offense. We will only take down one off. by the demon. Nino pulling out that sage wall again, but isn't able to get the second kill. Another one for one trade. Michelle's gonna get the plant down. Three v two. Rest of the team, they're all all over the place now. Again, they were all on the other site, but now uh, the TP taken from Sabo. Two players left. They have a very powerful position here, however, they will try to mind game out the other side. Not playing for the position that the spike is planted for, instead playing a double showers position. However, Sabo could just throw a wrench in this. Ooh. One enemy Sabo's gonna take... Oh, the knife? Oh, oh. oh, oh the knife bro, unfortunately he... just barely misses. He, he could have finished him off with the knife. He, he, he did not have the balls to do it. Come on. Well, you know, I think the round win matters a little bit more than the knife. Dude, do you know how cool it is if you knife someone? It is very cool. But it's even cooler when you get $1,500 to do it. Yeah, well, this is Valor. Thank you. Alright, however, it does look like we'll have another matchmaking moment coming out from Oni-chan. As they leave a spike and spawn again, just Pulling kidding. Pulling a little bit of an Elo retrieved. assassins there. Mm-hmm. It does look like they want, will want to push towards this beat position, but um, Team Metroid Fun have been consistently stacking multiple members towards this B side. Four members, this round could turn out to be a bloodbath. And we got five coming in from uh, Oni. Minioks gonna get the first opening kill here. Shoebox will take out Senku. Now, oh, now Sabo's gonna get the third. This pushes in shambles, just not having enough to take him out. Zutri will take out Minyo, Kasama will take out Michelle. It's all in Zutri. Did you hear about the Zutri 1v4? We'll find well, out. No, did I. I did not hear about the Zutri 1v4. What's that? Yeah, uh, I don't know actually. I think I think uh, some caster like thought it was gonna thought it could happen, so he like talked about it, but then it just didn't happen. Yeah, the legend of the Zutri 1v4. It is a tragedy for Zutri. So it does look like the offense side will be shattered in their economy. Two Spectres, three pistols. Meanwhile, the defending side will have all five rifles. Ooh. One Vandal, three fan four way. Phantoms. Whoa. So, but we'll take this aggression towards some long. more of those walls here. Oh, he's gonna get shut down by AVP3. Those knives and that. Uh, rifle is going to go to AVP3 as well. However, I think the jet knives are a little bit more useful to him at the moment. Going to chase down Yugmi. This is very awkward for the defending side as well, AVP3 exactly just missed that uh, ledge, but nice. nobody's on this site. They all have to and retake from very the same possible position. 3v4 retake coming out here, especially with the jet knives down now. The missed flash from Jealous. Guy dog will see that there's two of them. Will daze one of them. Now they have Flash to all gonna push. Come out, but Yugmi is gonna be able to take him out. Zushi's gonna get one. All, right, all they have to do right now is the Hunting offense smoke. is to play for time. One there's enemy. not a lot of time left on the spike. Zushi will take out two boxes, and now he just gets another. Very good attempt coming out from the defenders on that retake. Unfortunately, just not being able to push it through. It was a very uh, There was actually a lot of promise wall. in that retake, but unfortunately there was just not enough time for them to really like take it as slowly as they could have. Yeah. It's an unfortunate situation to be in for them, but 
now it does look like we will have a full buy versus full buy, full rifles for both sides. At least we didn't it see uh, what's known as the iron panic when you uh, walk halfway through the rotate and then realize you don't have time and start sprinting. That's called the iron panic? Yeah. Baba takes out his new tree there. What do you call it? Uh, it is the iron panic. I don't call it the iron panic, I call it the oh shit. <laughs> Because that's usually what you say when it happens. You say, oh shit. Well, okay, but like, I feel like once you get to higher elos, people know how far they can run before they need to start walking. They're going to take the TP over because they believe there is too much presence on B, but Minyolk, those nasty sage walls, might be able to catch a couple of them off guard. However, he has done this wall before, so they might pre-aim him. They will, but they are a little bit off. Alright, Jealous will take down Wiener, so this leaves both these players in a very exposed position. Skyflash is going to come out again. They're going to pre-aim it, but they aren't fast enough. And Minyok is going to be able to pick up those kills with his nasty stage walls. Bro, I was asking for the Grim Walls, and now I receive. Dude, this is, this this is, is the kind of stuff see. I need to play when I do Sage. I, I just I play Sage like a duelist. Sage is the best duelist in the game, if you didn't know already, by the way. Yeah, you play Sage to kill your team. That's how I play Sage, at least. That's how everyone plays Sage. Sage is a duelist. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, is there like any other reason to play Sage? Uh, you could play for the team, but nobody likes doing that. I'm gonna put them on my back. Exactly. Okay, so it does look like the offense side will be pushing into this three man stack again. They are not reading that they put three here. The Sky Hole will come out, will catch Ooh. out Sabo, who will get taken out here. Sky oh, Flashes will come out. Spike down. Oh, ABP3 up. is going to have to burn the jet dash to get out of the KO Molly, and he's going to get taken out by Shoebox, anyways. And that's a spike down. It's going to be very awkward, but as I say that, Michelle just throws the Therapicade and DTFO is out of there. However, they will. Looks like they might want to pivot back towards this B site, even though they do have two players on this site for the defense. One the kill, he's going to get taken out. Oh. And Wink is going to pull off the last kill here, bringing it up to five v or five to four. With a promising hold, they did push into the last two people, but they just really did not manage to play off each other very well because they both took two v ones and both just got shot. Very unfortunate for the defending side. Still a very close score line here coming out five to four. It does look like uh Team Onichan will go for all reliable. We'll try to go for um well as I say that they immediately start rotating towards A. They probably just want to play a default play with two long and two A short. Oh but Yugmi is uh, right there. Very <laughs> attempted a very good TP play, but does not bear any fruit. However, AP3 will take out Shoebox, Jokes and now it is a 3v3. However, the spike oh. will be spike dropped down, by Sabo when Michelle goes down, leaving it just on Minyok and Sabo, the two hard hitters for this team. Oh, Minyok and that's going to be a res for Yugmi, the third hard hitter that was able to pull off that opening kill there in this round. He's going to be back, and he wants more. These two do these two duos will be able to get the spike. Sabo gave up a lot of pressure by relinquishing that spike. However, this will be a really awkward confrontation as Wang Wiener and Sabo will run into each other. A little bit of a firefight going on. Sabo will take out Wang Wiener. However, only 30 HP left, leaving it all onto AVP3 on the jet. Does 3 and 9. Maybe, on his hands, though. He, maybe he could make this 6 and 9. That would make his score a very funny. Oh, but the, the Brimstone ult stops him. Just cock by that Brimstone ult. So looks like he will try to push into long and get some pressure, and he gets taken out. What pressure? Hmm? What pressure? Well, he tried to go kill them. Nah, nah, he had no pressure. He, he died. What kind of pressure is that? Uh, what's well, pressure on his economy? That's <laughs> <laughs> As he looks pretty broke right now. Three away from the jet knives, all he needs to do... He's got the two yeah. ult orbs and then kill one player and then he will get these jet knives. I'm not sure if he wants to run around the world for those though. Well, it looks like he will get a specter drop, so that economy pressure really being held right there. But, uh, as I was saying, fun still is a little bit up on terms of the weapon buys, obviously, with the five rifles coming out this round. 
Looks like they, uh, Team one Chan will want to just push towards B again. Yeah. Always not want to give Why it to Sight Hopper. Pull off the first kill against, uh, opening kill against Shoebox here. They're going to be pushing onto Sight here. Jealous is going to get Senku. A couple of people are going to get down Sabo all together. Three. And Jealous is going to be down for the count this round. 2v4. Can the retake happen? However, they will know the position of Yugmi as he does take out Michelle, leaving on to Yugmi and Minyok, who is flanking from this long side, could catch them off guard. This position, Yugmi is three caught with his pants down, looking the wrong way. Yugmi is going to get another, and that's not going to make it a 2v1 here. Smoke. We'll need to see the ace coming out from Wank Wiener. He does get four, does not know the last one's on site. Oh, and he, he does get the ace. Him. That is two aces in one game. Wow. And a perfect way to get to the last round of half. However, the buys from both sides will look a little shoddy. I think uh, Mandatory Fund's really going to want to win this one because that would put them at an advantage into the second half. Um, however, we don't know what's going to happen because uh, Onichan has the uh, history of pulling back from uh, round deficits like they have in the previous game. So you never know what could happen. Uh, no, I'm a psychic. I know exactly what's gonna happen. Okay. I'm just not gonna tell you because that makes it more fun that way. No, you should predict it right now. And... Oh, never mind. Do it. Oh, well, Sabo's I, I gonna get the opening kill with the get taken out by Sabo. <laughs> and uh, Wiener will take out Yugmi towards the safe position. However, Mio pushing up really aggressively could get caught up by Wiener. As he, he does, does get caught up. Perfect, prog perfect crosshair placement. And now the rest of the Don't mandatory fund members are Look miles this. away from the site. They have absolutely no no pressure whatsoever besides in this CT spot. Jealous is going to pop the KO alt. Sabo is going to run out with his jet alt. Get one. And oh, hope for a second. Yeah, going to position. whip a few knives on the second. Not going to get it. However, this KO is not exactly dead. He is downed, but we'll have eight, seven seconds to get him up. However, it does not look Ooh, like they Sabo will. Sabo is going to get taken out. Shoebox, Shoebox is going to go for a deep Sticking it half. Yes. And, and then he dies. Six sticks, even score line coming out Again. for the Onishan side. Interesting. With, the, with that, though, we are going to pause the match and we're going to move into the break. Allow teams to strategize a little bit because it is a stressful match. It's all up to mandatory fun to bring it back up to a 1 1 so they can push into the tiebreaker and hopefully catch a win there. Um, but with that, uh, Zach, could you pause the match timer? We're going to go into the break. Yes, I can. And we're back in the second half. Uh, another 6-6 first half um, for this finals that's turning out to be very interesting, surprisingly. Um, not rounds that we were expecting. But with that, we're going to move into pistol round here. Also, we will see a five stack towards that B side from the mandatory front side. However, none of them running, all just slow walking here. Looks like they will want to commit a lot of people long. However, there is still And with that, they're going to stomp on the side. They want to get these as fast as possible. They just want to make sure that Oni Shan has no time to A little bit too fast for him. He's not going to be able to catch him out. A couple of shots will be taken out by smoke. Jealous. Yugmi is going to push up and he's going to get it with the Frenzy. Yugmi is a Frenzy Demon today. Sabo is going to... Oh! Very good flick, flick from Sabo taking out AVP3. One enemy remains. Some call it luck, Long. some call it skill. And some call it a flawless round from Team Mandatory Fun. Very good pistol play coming out from these guys. Just starting out with that slow walk and then just as soon as they get seen... Hold on to that W. Go That's in exactly as the kind of gameplay we need. As a proud W key connoisseur, this is the kind of play that we need. You seem like the kind of guy who would buy like a brass W key. Why would I do that? That that's like isn't that worse to like click? Well, it looks nice, you see. Yeah, but that's a waste of money. <laughs> Me uh, I'm, I'm not for wasting money. Sprinting onto the site as fast as possible. The wall is going to go up for the plant. However, where's the bomb? Well, of course, it's on Shoebox, who is uh, lingering a little bit behind, of course, baiting like all my arenas do in my ranked games. He, for some reason, does not stick to plant. Not entirely. Oh, another Wait, knife! He's just got a knife! Oh, I, I wish I saw that. Oh, I didn't see that either. 
And he, oh. the plant is going to be too late now. One enemy but he's going to get the kill and he's okay. And now he's going to be able to, to Michelle. stick the plant Who dies? Here. Yeah, who dies? Man, I want to see the knife. I wish we had replays, but God, we don't. Hey, yeah, yeah so if anybody in chat knows what they're doing with, like, replays and eSports stuff, we would absolutely love to have someone who could operate the uh, observing side of things for us, because, oh boy, is observing, streaming, and casting extremely difficult to do all at once. Yeah. <sighs> but now it does look like we will see an A short presence coming out from the um, mandatory front side. All Spectres versus the full rifles of Team Oni Chan. And now, as it soon as that happens, it is a bonus, but they will just back off and run immediately back towards this B site. Oh, but there's a lot of pressure. That. They're going to know. There's going to be a couple of rotates coming out, though. Yeah, they're just what running can in. What do about this? Wankwiener is behind that box. Nobody has spotted him yet. Gonna go. Oh, Yugmi is going to be able to take him out with ease. Very good trade coming out, but now the B site is basically just in the hands of mandatory fun. And with these Spectres, can, they can have a, a very valuable position since they can hold these short range angles. And Locked just get plant down. 4v4 post plant situation. We do still have the jet on the side, and the jet does get the kill as I say that. We still have the jet on the side of a Michon, who has a very strong entry. Ooh, Minyok unable to get the kills. And everyone's gonna get taken out basically at the exact same time, and that's going to be a round for the side of a Michon, making it 8 to 7. Unless they forget. Flurry of kills coming in. Right at the end there. Just bursting onto that retake. That was almost like a be. Rainbow Six Siege kind of moment, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And you have a Rainbow Six Siege moment and a CSGO halftime, 8 to 7. This looks exactly like a CSGO time. <laughs> Minus the pistol round. But anyway, we will see the rifles held onto by the defenders. Meanwhile, the offense will be a, a little bit in shambles on their buy. We see a that Sheriff on Sabo. Jealous uh, with no shields. What is yeah, this is a little bit scuffed, but they're making do. It's okay because Shoebox has a very funny number as his kill death ratio. That one's pretty funny. Wow. Nutri looking to be the knife demon. Ooh. Holding this uh, rat corner. However, Minyok, as the stage is running out, will get taken down by Zutri. Now they know the position of both Wankmeter and Zutri, leaving basically a sight in their hands. As I say, yeah, Sabo does push into Hill Wankweener. Now it looks like it's a retake for the oh, defenders. Oh, Spectre. So many hits and no kills. Shoebox, unfortunately, and is a little bit lost in that flash. Unable to get any bearings. AVP3 with a triple. Very good kills coming out from this man. Now almost breaking positive. 11 to 13 just needs three more kills. And we do see it. a timeout coming in for the attackers. Maybe they need some tactics, or they just need a pee break. Either of those is possible. Definitely the second. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Either that or the tactics is just going to be uh, Minyok saying, Okay guys, here's what you need to do. And then he'll just put his mic up to his W key and just spam it. And then uh, that'll be their tactics. That's true. <laughs> Either ways though, we have a 30 second... Of a uh, break in between to kind of let the team strategize, you know, talk about what they might want to do next. Maybe go out for lunch. Well, I guess it's closer to dinner time, so maybe go out for dinner. Celebrate. Well, it depends on whether or not they win this game, because it's all up to mandatory fun to tie it up for the series here. That is very true. Oh, my camera just had a... Three, moment. two... One. Still phase, the 20 more seconds, I guess. So now we will see the buy phase coming out. A team mandatory fun being pretty broke in terms of their buy. Once again, a little bit of deja vu. You ever get that feeling of deja vu? <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, the defenders will have full rifles. And the offense will be looking to push towards this A shower's position. So Thank you. Using the Sky Dog here, we'll see one. 
We'll use a sky flash. Will blind himself. Oh, that's <laughs> very unfortunate. His eyes are probably gone at this point. Fnatic called. They want their team flashes back. <laughs> well, it's a stealth flash, not a team flash. Okay. It looks like these uh, offense players are just encroached in these positions and just Ooh, what's going really on want to commit to this A site. However, they will rotate two towards that A short. And it, we will see the sky. Never mind, that is a sky heal coming out to top off that jet. We'll see a flash coming out. Jill is caught out. Senku Yubi. with two. Okay, that's going to be a two for two trade here. 3v3 here. However, oh, this camera, they, super good angle from Michelle here. They might be playing right into the. Uh... You fought Yo, well. We get one. No that looks like it's going to be a good plant for them. Thirty seconds left. That will be a plant. Confirm. Forty-five seconds on the clock. All they need to do is hold this site. No charge for you. No charge for you. Correct. Sabo here with the Deagle gonna take a few pop shots. Actually gonna land one of them through the smoke. Here for hellfire. One ah. enemy remaining. Oh, it's not gonna make it. And Sabo is gonna spot the last one, but not gonna get the kill on them. Oh, and unfortunately it looks exactly like a bit of an issue, so I will be casting alone for the next little bit. Uh, until he hopefully comes back. Um, but yeah. So, we saw super good attack coming in for mandatory fun there. Um, super good control of the site, uh, able to regroup after a um, interesting first encounter there. But with that, it is 9 to 8 um, for the advantage of mandatory fun. They're looking pretty good to take the um, second game of the series who tied it up 1 to 1. See some strong A presence coming in here. Mean Yoke and Yugmi are going to push up fast. Still slow walking though. Smoke's Almost gonna come down. out. And that pretty much enables the push onto site here, clearing it out corner by corner. Senku's gonna peep out. Not sure if Yukmi is gonna be able to grab it. Style's gonna get popped. Flash is also gonna get popped. Carrier's down. And Senku is gonna be able to take out one. Senku's also gonna take out Mean Yoke here, and he's gonna rush straight in towards short and get a third before getting shut down by Yugmi. But there are just too many people in front of Yugmi for him to be able to do anything. Sabo, last person alive for the side of mandatory fun. He's gonna be uh, attempting to get a couple of picks off on B here. Sees Michelle. He's gonna get it. Making it a 1v3. It would be in his favor to save his gun and wait for next round as you can see his team's eco is a little bit smashed right now, but Mike Wiener has a few words to say about that one. Thirty seconds left. Sabo's gonna get a second kill here. But he's gonna get shut down by AVP three as he peeks out of that angle, tying it up nine to nine. Interesting rounds here. Um, not entirely sure what the plan of Sabo's was. I feel like a a save there probably would have been the best option. But um, at the end of the day, he did what he did, and he uh, got those two kills. Get a little bit of extra econ in there. Um, pad the death just a little bit. In terms of the bias here, we're seeing two Bulldogs and a Spectre coming out from out uh, Mandatory Fun along with two rifles. Jet Alt's going to get popped here. Where is this going? A little bit of A presence. We're pushing on quite fast here. Into U-Haul. He's going to get the kill. He's going to be able to pick up a Vandal off of AVP3, uh, AVP3's body. A flying from behind from Senku is going to get one before being traded off by Jealous, but Zutri is also behind. Michelle's going to be on site, get the kill there, and Sabo's uh, going to be unable to keep it up. And Zutri is going to get the last kill onto Jealous, making it 10 to 9 for uh, Team Mandatory. Oh, sorry, for Team Onichan. And Zach's internet. Apparently, I think he forgot to pay his in. A lot of people forgetting to pay their bills today here, huh? We're just 
losing people left and right. This is a nice spot. Hopefully he'll be back by the end of this game though. This goes here. That goes there. Sengu's gonna go for a little bit of an aggro push into Ace Showers. Might be able to catch Minyok off guard here. Let's take a look. He is able to get it. Unfortunately, Minyok having just that deagle was unable to stop him. Sabo is going to try to kill Sengu back. Flash is going to go out. And Sabo is going to get it. Going to be able to pick up that gun here. 3v4 for the side of Onichan. A little bit of an A presence here. We're gonna try to pick up that bomb and get in onto site here. Yugmi does now have a bomb. The dash is gonna come out. AVP3 is gonna be able to uh, AVP him. Uh, Michelle's gonna get a Cypher uh, ping out on there. Yugmi gonna be able to pull off a Spectre pick here. 1v3 for him. He's going to run towards B here. He does have the bomb. Tripwire is going to go off, and he's going to get shot through the wall by Wanker 420, who is still lingering on B. 11 to 9. The attackers are going to be calling a second timeout here real quick. Um, a little bit of thinking going on. Uh, definitely an interesting game coming out so far. Sorry, I also have to deal with uh, what's going on with Zach here. He's trying to get his internet back. Hopefully he will be back soon. But interesting game so far. Again, with the fairly even first half and going into the beginning of the second half, we saw, you know, um, almost a, uh, you know, tied up game. But then Onichan pulling off more rounds as we go into the uh, second half of the second half, I guess the fourth quarter you could say with a few seconds left on that timeout here by phase is also going to be able to go for a little bit longer but yeah mandatory fun really going to have to you know kind of regroup and think about uh how they want to you know continue to approach this game because it looks like whatever they've been doing has been figured out by onichan and they are going to be unable to get more round wins with whatever they're doing at the moment they still have a few rounds to figure their stuff out um, it's not match point just yet. But with that, oh, let's move into the round. They're going to take an A presence and instant teleport coming in from the side of Wankwinner 420. AVP3 is going to get a pick on the shoebox. Sabo is going to dash through. Not sure if he's been spotted. He's going to be able to take out Wankwinner 420 and a couple of others. Minyok also getting a pick in the process of that. Leaving it as a 3v2 and a res. A 4v2 now for the side of Team... Uh, mandatory fun One enemy and Sabo is going to get a third pick and Zach is finally back gets a 4k oh, here uh, brings it up to 10 to 11 Onichan still in the lead here by one round to be very close we will not see the 13 9 scoreline that we saw before are you on internet or are you on mobile hotspot right now i am on hotspot can you tell uh no i was just wondering okay. if i should have your camera because your camera is going to be blank okay but that's okay but well I, I can't see the game either because i only hotspot in my laptop <laughs> ah that's fine uh, so, well, you kind of already. Oh, uh, Wangwinner 420 is going to get a pick on the Minyo. Yugmi is going to trade him back. Sabo is going to get the two knives that are needed. Or, sorry, he's going to get two knives. He's going to get the rest with the second of draft. And again, a plant going down for mandatory fun here. 4v3. Looking promising. Very difficult situation to be in if you're a team 1 8 ton. All these players are entrenched in Shoebox and Yugmi each getting one pick, leaving just, uh, for, uh, Zuchi. I keep forgetting his name. Zuchi is going to get taken out by Sabo's jet ult. And that is going to be 11-11, tied up for mandatory fun. 
Very good comeback coming out from these guys. Onichan's gonna need a uh, two, or sorry, Onichan's gonna need to get two rounds in a row if they want any hope of this not going into overtime. <laughs> It will, in fact, need that because this is a very difficult situation to be in. You're the enemy team having the momentum. You know what to do. I have to see where exactly this goes. You know, you can you can hotspot multiple devices, right? Huh? You can hotspot multiple devices, you know, right? Yeah. I'm gonna try to get back in the game. Okay. Or you can watch the Twitch broadcast? I don't know. You can Well that's what I, that's what I've been watching. <laughs> I, see, so. I see. I think I think Valorant actually uses less um data though. Oh, Jealous got picked off early. I didn't even see that. Shubak gonna be pushing into Hookah with a couple of his teammates. One's gonna be watching though. Michelle's gonna take one. Michelle's gonna not take the rest. Oh, he's gonna take two. Spike can he get three? Beat. Going on a little bit aggro. Sabo is going to take out one. Yugi can get the other. Michelle is going to take out Yugi, and that's going to leave. Uh, who's this? That's going to leave. Why can't I switch them? Ah, that's going to leave just Sabo. Let me switch. Oh, and he's going to get taken out quickly by Wankin 420. That's going to be match point for the side of Onichan. Mandatory fun does need to win this next round, match or else point. they lose the final, and that is the series. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, my scoreboard went away. I have to take the scoreboard. Unfortunate. Yes, this should go. Hello? There we go. I don't know why the scoreboard went away. Anyways. But with that, Onichan, uh, uh this goes here. just about clinging on to their hopes of winning a 2-0 series here. You gotta get this round. Surely nerves are very high here. Skyflash gonna go out, Sabo's gonna dash into a short, gonna get taken out by Senku, Minyok's gonna get AVP3, Minyok's gonna get a second in the form of Senku. They're gonna be pushing on to site. Now he's onto Wankmere to hold onto the site, but as they say that, oh, he does, does get Minyok. kill Minyok. He does have the Phoenix ultimate, he'll be probably pushing the showers and expend this Phoenix ult. Yep, there's the Phoenix ult. He will try to push on the site. Flash is gonna we'll come in, he's gonna get Yumi. Yumi. Shoebox is gonna we'll take him out. Will not Shoebox though. Michelle gonna get him, and that's gonna be a 1v3. Jailus gonna get one. Last their last standing. hope, and that is a 1v1 for Jealous here. This could be the round that Mandatory Fun needs. He's gonna come around. He's gonna get heard by Zutri, though. And he's not gonna be able to get the kill. Unfortunately, that is the series. Onichan are your champions for the first Hello World Valorant Open. Uh, congratulations to uh, AVP3. I, I need to read off the scoreboard, actually. Uh, congratulations to AVP3, Sanku, Wankmeaner420, uh, Michelle, and Zutri for being able to uh, pull off those two straight wins. Uh, some really impressive price coming out for Mandatory Fun, though. Um, Zach's camera is broken, so we'll just... It's fine. Uh, you have his audio. Um, but yeah, super interesting stuff coming out from uh, both teams. Mandatory Fun looking better than ever with uh three subs obviously but still looking better than ever nonetheless um pulling off a super super close game 11 to 13 um definitely interesting stuff very very close game coming out however team onishan managing to take the 2-0 sweep not in a very sweepish fashion but still a 2-0 yeah uh AVP3 does want a player interview. We could absolutely do a player interview. Chat, we what do you could. think? We could. I don't. I don't. I'm not objected to a, a player interview. We can talk about the games. All right, Arnav, get in here. Uh, join. Join one of the voice channels. We'll drag you in. I don't know if he's still watching the stream. He he was in the chat like literally just now. Join the chat. Oh, you're on Teams on Deck. Can you join Team Alpha? Because it's faster for me to drag you in. Hello. Oh, he's in. I'm he's in. in. Hello. Welcome. This is AVP3, um, one of the top players on Onichan. Uh, congratulations on the win. You guys Thank take you the do. series 2 0. 
Yeah, it was pretty good. It was close though. The second game was close. Yeah, I, I was I was kind of uh, rooting for that one one. I, I actually kind of wanted to see this go into the third game, the but third match, yeah. Um, congratulations, nonetheless, taking that two zero sweep. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, with that though, I do want to talk about um, sort of your thoughts on how you guys were able to pull those you know multiple rounds in a row towards the end because both games we saw um, a tied up first half and then very close second half before you guys were able to just sweep with you know multiple rounds in a row um right and take take a commanding lead especially in the first game where you guys won 13 9. um were there any changes in the strategy Did anything really what, what kind of um allowed that to happen um i think what mainly we did is we just like realized that they were um just like aggressing really hard and we started learning like the tendencies that they had on the respective ends of the half like for example that last game um props to him but like chavo the jet on the other team he like kept pushing really aggressively so then like autry and sid or i guess um or omen and phoenix um they like started like punishing that really well and then we had our cypher and sky hold down the other site and so like that like shift in in like our play style because of what they were doing i think really helped us win absolutely yeah and we saw a lot of also very good multi-kills coming out from both sides uh, i do want to shout out zutri on your team for uh i believe two aces Is yeah yeah no two aces yeah no he got two aces no that was good from him um he's really good with his game sense and uh and like being a controller and so that's yeah, no, good from him yeah yeah very good crosshair placement as well coming out from the whole team we saw a lot of times um people pushing aggro or you know being pushed on and we saw a lot of good crosshair placement and a lot of picks happening uh, because of that crosshair placement and i do want to shout that out as well yeah um yeah, I think... yeah go ahead no i think um i just want to say like like the the games were really fun but i think what really like got us the most was the the angles um mean yoke was playing on the other team and like the aggressiveness of the jet i know i said that before but like that really got to us because it's unexpected for us when when we play like like games like that where we like they're 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 our friends so we know how they play but like when they play against us it's a little different because um they like change things up and everything but that made it that made it more fun and interesting for sure yeah yeah we saw um especially since mean yoke normally is as zach uh, would put it a silver one trick um definitely seeing those sage walls yeah. coming out with the more aggro pushes uh, definitely very different was not expecting something like that yeah he got us with that sage wall on bind i think it's uh find a in that corner near bathrooms he kept walling himself up there and like caught yeah. catching up us card and we saw you guys good. try to get a couple of those pre-aims too but unfortunately there were just times when he was in a place where you guys weren't expecting especially i don't know if you knew but uh there was at one point you guys were wall banging through the um the wall there at showers yeah. and you guys were quite literally inches away from spraying him down. oh no no i remember wall banging that I'm yeah I, yeah, we, yeah. we saw like 30 40 bullets emptied into the wall and they were just <laughs> so close and they just jumped him. down yeah unlucky all good you see the grim walls i swear yeah, i've been watching some grim on youtube and then it, he's just trying to replicate it and he, yeah. he does it well he does it very well yeah, yeah for sure um Run game. first game i do want to sort of talk about especially you guys um on defense you guys were able to really lock down sites i think um, one thing I do want to highlight is your ability to play jet, but on defense, um, is kind of incredible to watch, right? Cause you guys have, um, I feel like, uh, a hallmark of your team. I feel like you guys, um, see a lot of post plant situations. You guys win a lot of post plants. And I think, um, I kind of like, do like seeing that jet being used in a post plant situation. Can you tell us a little bit more about, you know, your thoughts as you go through a retake? yeah so um the first thing that we try to do always is um if they're hitting a site and we have like less numbers there or like the people on the site can't hold we'll try to have them like fall back as quickly as possible because like we'd rather have numbers going into the retake um and then like a lot of the, like a lot of the main retake stuff happens we we always try to have the omen flash um on both sites on both maps but like specifically split the omen flash has like a lot of value on the retake and so um uh, Zutri, our omen, he uses it really well to like initiate that retake. He smokes off the chokes, and then we like push in with the jet and um, our other duelist, which I think was raised on split. Um, and then we have our like controller and our like typically it's like whoever's died. Obviously, we can't use their util, but like um, we have like the controller and the sentinel like try to get as much info. I think that map we ran two sentinels, so um, having that slow orb, having those trips in the cages to like like block off those chokes and just like 
like pinch I guess the enemy team onto the site once they post planted um I think is um is really what helps us win definitely and uh, I feel like the play style is kind of different from what we see from a lot of other teams where um you, you see a site being hammered and you want to rotate as many people there as possible to try to stop the plant in the first place I do yeah. like your guys' sort of uh unorthodox play style but it does work um of sort of pulling back regrouping and then trying to attack the site again um we see a lot of teams fail the defense when they um over commit to one site and then they have to rotate or as they're rotating they get picked off one by one and then that's just the end of the round um yeah. pulling back and regrouping definitely is yeah uh, and like if it was like any like other team where we were feeling like a lot more confident winning our gunfights and stuff like we probably try to do that strategy that you mentioned but like knowing that like um, Minyo and Sabo on the other team, they pack a lot of firepower and like they like they can beat us in a lot of gunfights, like a 50-50 gunfight. Um, it sometimes goes their way, sometimes goes ours, and like we don't want to take as many of those gunfights trying to hold the site, so we'd rather give it to them and then use our um, abilities to retake. For sure. Um, with that though, that does end Season 1. Um, any thoughts going into Season 2? Um, are you guys going to be coming back? Um, yeah, probably. It was fun. Um, we'll probably like um, we might change our team name, that, but um, we'll probably... Uh, Your team name was I'm, a fan I'm favorite, sure. actually. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we, we have a couple others in the works. I won't reveal them yet, but um, well, we'll be there's, excited some, there's some good ones. Yeah, we'll probably, uh, we'll probably play. Uh, we'll probably like do a, li a little bit of like roster changes to use available. Obviously, we had a lot of subs and stuff. Like, our throne, the person we were playing with originally, he like couldn't make it today. We had to get a lot of subs in throughout the weeks. We'll try to see um, what... Uh, who's who's available but it was definitely fun and we'll we'll definitely come back if we're all there first yeah. season too and zach and i were talking about outward thrones kill you too super impressive stuff uh, yeah um, he's, he's good of, at that a lot of very good uh defined roles it looks like your team like there are there are less people who are flex picks but everybody does um what everybody does one thing and they're very good at what they do yeah a lot of that is from like when we were putting together the team we like know when we play rank together like certain roles that people like to play like again zutri's controller wang queener likes to frag um out of throne he likes to be a sentinel yeah. um and then senku he's like sentinel but initiator a lot of the time and then um i like to play i'm a i'm a jet one trick I'm, i will be the first to say it like i don't know how to play any other character maybe reyna but that's about it um <laughs> but um, the go so, kill characters yeah literally literally um run, so run get frags. so um we kind of like made our team around that and when we were finding subs we tried to like michael subbing in for vib of um or out of throne was a, a good a good sub and he played really well today so yeah but yeah we'll definitely be back for season two for sure absolutely um speaking of season two if you guys are interested discord link down below um on the about page in the twitch obviously this time around had a lot of scheduling errors. It was kind of impromptu. We put it together a little bit last second, but hopefully next time we'll have a lot more uh, scheduling planned out. Hopefully more than like two weeks in advance. I want to hopefully give you guys a month in advance to um, get your teams together, make sure everybody's schedules are free and keeping the schedules free. Um, we know a lot of times people said that they probably could be there and then things pop up last minute and happens. And we had a lot of teams um, who were unable to show up obviously aws w dropping last week and then with eas and thm both unable to play today uh still got some very good rounds out from uh you guys and mandatory fun today had a lot of fun organizing this tournament um i would absolutely be willing to do it again um we're looking at hopefully late august and if not uh into winter break um we'll be going for season two so yeah get your teams together start practicing i guess if you want play some ranked you know um but yeah anything else to add zach nope nothing from right. me well with that uh thank you arnov avp3 yeah, for joining us for a player interview um enjoyed like kind of getting an insight from players and uh next season we will try to do player interviews with like cameras and you know actually doing some yeah, kind yeah. of a thing but uh a little bit impromptu this season so um but yeah Super, really enjoyed this experience. Um, we thank everybody for joining us on stream and off stream, um, the players, everybody involved. Um, we should probably find someone to raids right about now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. raiding. Bye. All right. Thank you, Arnold. Bye. -bye. Yes, yeah. yeah.